basketball, tennis, swimming, they were all um, usually the one and only on their athletic teams. Okay? And this, uh, this one and only phenomenon, they noted that there was a lack of uh, role models to look up to, and also they got forced into a role model position. Okay? Um, also, of course, there was, um, the students also noted uh, gender stereotypes and racial stereotypes. So they were considered athletically weaker than the male student athletes, but athletically superior to their white uh, counterparts. And they also thought that they had to prove or disprove some of those uh, stereotypes. Again, feelings of belonging. With all the issues that accompanied uh, these student athletes, they did feel that they really belonged athletically on their teams uh, in the Canadian context. And as I said, considering all the challenges, uh, almost all the uh, participants were content with the trade-offs and challenges that they experienced and would uh, go through the experience again. Okay. And some of the social experiences, similar to most student athletes, uh, my participants noted that there was a lack of involvement in activities outside of athletics. They could only pr basically do athletics or go to work and do their schoolwork. There was also a lack of interaction with non-athletes. And one of the interesting findings is that there was varying experiences within the black community on the Canadian campus. Some participants felt that they were very comfortable interacting with the larger black community. Some felt that they were actually left out. And while others felt completely uncomfortable, and the last group felt that they were, if they felt comfortable interacting with black students, um, they still felt they had an obligation to mix with non-black students so they wouldn't be segregationists, is what they would note. And the last uh, finding I found with the social experience was dating and intimate relationships. A lot of these participants in my study noted that there was a lack of dating exper uh, experiences or chances for black female student athletes. And these challenges were so often related to the negative stereotypes that are surrounding um, black women, such as being angry or aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other incident they also brought up was uh, interracial dating, which was pretty um, extensive at the universities. However, that was more acceptable for black males and not acceptable for the black females. Um, so, and that's kind of a just general, some general findings. Uh, when we were discussing race, discrimination, or any of the topics uh, related to sexism, initially the participants did not directly report any instances. They would say, no, there's no racism, there's no sexism um, at the Canadian universities. However, when we got into deeper conversation, racial profiling, stereotypes, job refusals, um, excessive monitoring, monitoring, those issues 